Welcome back boys to the 15th episode of the Dark Souls Let's Play tutorial series. And since last episode we accumulated so much souls, I figured we might as well spend them in oh, town no or in Filing Shrine. Let's see. No, I don't like those. We have nothing to reinforce here. But we got a lot of lot more titanite shards now. And let's upgrade the claimer. Shall we? Since the Astora Greatsword is still uh, locked away since we require more skill or dexterity. Yeah, upgrade the climber plus two and the fire long, long sword plus one. And we could also upgrade the irritable straight ward plus one. Or do we have anything else important? Let's see. Nah. Oh. We never upgraded the Uchi Katana. <laughs> but well, we got the claimer now. Let's go with the Longbow plus two as well. So we got all of our three weapons plus three uh, plus two now. Pretty be careful. Yeah. I don't want to see my works. Let's see his Grey Red's uh, store goods. Oh, hand in one. Let's restock some fire bombs as always. And I really need more throwing knives. A hundred should be fine. Let's buy more arrows from him. Also, why not buy fire arrows? Yeah, boy. Alright. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Grey Red. How much is the level up right now? Oh. Can't buy a level up now. Dang it. Let's ask the ah. Grandma. Let's uh, see. Hmm. Might as well buy four of those. One of those. Alright. Okay, we spent our, our souls. All of them. Let's get back to work. Oh, wait. Burned the under bone shot we uh, found. Near the white birch last, uh, last run. And get back to cleansing chapel. And we'll ride back the elevator to where we left off last time. But now we are a little bit more, yeah, a little bit stronger with plus two weapons and, uh, yeah, reinforced Estes. We'll kick them ass riding on the elevator. Also, don't fall down here. Yeah, so that's where we came from, still. That is where we have to continue, through this arch. But first, let's go down here. This is a dead end, but it's really worth it since we are picking up an uh, infusement gem here. Ah. No, I don't come to you. Dang it, <laughs> the claimer is too slow for these guys. Yeah, a deep gem. With a deep gem, you can upgrade any weapon or infuse any weapon to make it a, a dark weapon like the deep battle axe 
from uh, from the start of the game, basically, that we found in the high wall of Lodric. You can build a weapon like that now. And also, I think these um, the rope dudes these rope dudes uh, occasionally drop deep gems or dark gems. Yeah, these these gems that we found here. Yeah. yeah, let's kill the slime. And off we go then. And in this section I recommend just running through. There's a giant that will start attacking us and we'll kill kill him later at, a, at another stage of the game. For now just uh, press the run button, also pick up a currency item here, yeah don't get thrown down there, dang it, that has cost a lot of Estes. Also, he seems to kill every other hollow in the map that gets hit, hit as well. Alright, down the stairs, there are several passes as well. And first let's go up here. And uh, there's a lot of thralls again, which are restocked on throwing knives. Dang it, three of them. Man, claimer so so weak. Yeah. That was lucky. <laughs> Yeah, let's fight him with a shield. Alright, pick up an Thrall Hood, in case you want to look like a dumb retard. And uh, quickly change to Firebomb to get rid of a slime. And seek Guidance Spell, or Miracle, oops, is found here. And up we go a ladder. Man, I wasted so much Estes. <laughs> Dang it. And up here is another evangelist. Where is he? Maybe we can sneak up on him. Dang it! Not my luckiest day today. Also, we are soon having a blood loss. Die, please. And Titanite chart, and also he dropped his weapon. It's a rare drop. Nice. And another ember, in case you want to get back into ember form. And this is where one of those crossbow dudes shot us. Oh, we missed an item there. Which make a run for it, and this is the giant. But don't drop down here if you don't want to lose HP. Yeah, we cleaned up here. Nothing more to do, let's get back down there. Yeah, I'm playing it safe and running through the item. Run for it, run for your life. Nope. Oh, Lyot's uh, 
sword ring, I think. No, oh, he can reach me here. Dang it, I wasted so many as this flask already. We might have to uh, abort here and go back to the last bonfire. So in this room down the stairs here, there's uh, again a chest. Uh, watch at the chain and also watch closely at the chest itself. The chest is breathing, so this is a mimic. Yeah, let's charge attack it. Dang it, the camera. And see you later. We got the Dreep Braille Divine Tome. And let's check in the inventory. This might be uh, an evil tome, if I remember correctly, which you shouldn't uh, give to the Rima of Karim. But I might check that later on a wiki page after this episode. And I will tell you again about it on the next episode if it's not true what I'm said here. But I think you shouldn't give it to Arima. The nice uh, miracle girl at Filing Shrine. Yeah. Um, I figured we might get back to the bonfire from here. Since I don't feel confident at tackling this with two Estes left. Yeah. Let's walk the same path away, uh, again. Just walk through. Also we can skip the upper part with the Evangelist. Since we already looted that place. And people like to try to kill you here. It's also kind of a PvP hotspot for early game. Yeah, much better now. Now that we have nine Estes. Only thing left to do is uh, kill those thralls again. This one is dead. And let's see, there's one down there. Firebomb him. Always a nice idea. And an easy solution. And there should be one straw left somewhere. Um, yeah, <laughs> where is he? Or did he die? Maybe he died. Yeah. So we're back again at this place. Um, there's a giant club knight. And those dudes are really powerful. You really don't want to get... Don't want to get hit off from this guy. 
Maybe try the circling attack. Uh, I know it looks a little bit weird, but... Might be able to backstep him. Just needs to attack us. I'll circle the other way. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, wait. He deployed basically grenades. Yeah, backstep, bitch. And charge attack and dead. Easy as dead. Yeah, he dropped nothing, unfortunately. And now we face again two passages. We have one room here. And this looks like an empty room with an item, but it's a trap. As you see, I dropped a giant. I don't know what it, the thing is, it's like a spider dog of undead stuff, uh, stuff. I'm not sure. And these guys try to curse you. If you are not careful. But he can't exit the room. Yeah, don't don't get hit by that. Oh. Dang it. We had the opportunity to uh, hit him in the face to impale him. But we missed. Yeah, another curse. Breath. Don't run into it as long as it's active. Or you die of, of, of the curse, yeah. And <laughs> again, I was too slow. And it's dead. As you see, this meter with the skull is a curse. I think if if it's full you just die. And there was just an ember in here. But this beast dropped the ring. I think the ring um, grants mana for every unit or every enemy you kill. And now we enter the main hall of the cathedral. With lots of thralls. And also we get invaded by a NPC. He's already approaching us. The red phantom dude there. And yeah, Rosaria's finger, long finger Kirk. And this guy has uh, Thorn's armor. So if he touches you, you also get damaged. And as always, I recommend the strong attack against every NPC. No. What? My camera unlocked. And he's gone. Yeah, after you kill him, you gain his shield, a spiked shield, and a spiked uh, barbed stretch ward, which uh, causes bleeding on each hit. But in my opinion, it's not that strong as it sounds. And also these altars, I think, yeah. Oh, they give poison. 
Yeah, in the main hall of uh, the cathedral, there's the giant, which is just relaxing there. There's another giant. This leads to the end boss, to the end boss area basically. And from from here, from in the swamp, so, uh, we can kill the giant easily. Up there he is maybe agile and strong as heck, but down here at the feet level he's uh, really weak and slow. And now first let's go here to the other side of the hall. And as always a ton of nasty thralls awaiting us. Tighten a chart, nice. And more thralls and the giant club knight. Yeah. I'm thinking. Might wanna try to kill the thralls first. But it looked like they are stuck together. Well, can we only pull the straw now? Yeah, we did it. And that. Uh, it's not at all necessary to kill the knight, I think. Yeah, just ignore the knight for now. And currency item. Think we might be able with our current health status to just wreck this guy, the giant. If we are careful. This is also again one of those enemies just you just should hit once and then retreat. And as long as you stay at his feet and watch out, sometimes he storms. Then you're good. It's really slow at attacking round round units or yeah at his feet level. See, he stomped with one of his feet. Always just uh, hit once or twice. Keep circling the ground and then we won't ever hit you. Nope. Miss. Someone is shooting us from up there with arrows. Was close. Unfortunately, I can't tell you how many HP is left at the moment, since his health bar is way up there. But yeah, we killed him. I hear the crack. Yeah, bye bye. And also check. You should have dropped the uh, S uh, Titanite shard, yeah. And Dunk Pie. <laughs> yeah. Nice uh, poo. And what is that item here? And we found the Maidenhood. That's the armor set uh, that Arima of Karim is wearing. We can open this door. 
But behind this door is just a dead end, unfortunately. And another door. Doorception, basically. And again, a nice view. We got the side Saints Bident, which is a combination of a pike weapon, or spear weapon, and a face, face uh, scaling. Yeah. And this is a dead end, but we have now a nice view of Lotric Castle again and the giant bridge which looks even larger and longer now from this angle. And also, if you're looking closely, just above my head now, you see there's a, a stairs. So you can figure out on your own now where there's a second entry to the bridge. So it's basically this way in the swamps. Yeah, that's it. Um, over here, yes, we picked up all items. Get back into the main hall. And we'll unlock the next shortcut. Keep running. Also, I think you are a little bit faster if you're rolling through the thrums instead of just walking. Yeah. It seems faster anyways to me. I never tested really if it's true, but yeah, I will always keep dodge rolling through this mud. All right. And again, to summarize, this is where we have to head next. But on this side floor here, there's another shortcut. It's a gate we have to open from this side. And then also there was, you can drop down here in case you never picked up the item there. This is from the outside, yeah, at least to the outside part. Yeah, okay, let's go. Follow on here, we have to open this door. Which leads to another elevator. This elevator leads to the roof, uh, to the top of the church, the most upper part. And we have another door here, which leads back to the cleansing chapel bonfire, which we can rest at. All right. So we basically have two ways now to dis discover. Either we go to the elevator or we can go to the other place in the middle of the church with the giant, the second giant, yeah. I would recommend next episode we check out the place with the giant first and then we finish off exploring uh, the cathedral at the most upper roof at the end and then we kill the boss. That's basically a short, um, yeah, my short Planning, yeah, right. That's what is uh, was it for today. I hope you liked it. And uh, my name is Villa Master. I hope you keep uh, watching my series. Yeah, until next time. See you guys. Bye and out.